Go, come on, grow! There we go. Uh, what the? Pfft. That's not how trees work. That's a donut. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Scramble Craft with Chaboy Candle Crab. I hope you guys are having a good day, and let's just jump right into this episode because it's going to be a fun one. We're going to make some massive progress in terms of creating power. Yes, we are going to make a hopefully a strong generator in this episode. Last episode, we had the uh, we made the multi tool, but unfortunately, as you can see from the energy store at 550, yeah, our energy reserves are. Let's just say lacking. So, let's throw on the helmet, and let's get to work. Now, we did put this gun in at the very end of the episode, so let's go ahead and take it out, and let's see how much energy we got over these three little generators right there. We have, actually, I mean, it's not that bad. 8.1 million. Uh, not enough, unfortunately, to actually take a shot. As you can see, power usage is at 10 million per Shot! That's insane. Um, so yeah, we're definitely going to have to abandon the furnace generators. These things are trash, man. Get, that, get out of my face, brother. <laughs> so for the ultimate plan this episode, we are going to try to, I mean, figure out how to make an infinity generator, which is uh, pretty, pretty uncommon. I, th I think we should probably try to get a power stone first, which I have removed the comments, and you guys said I missed a power stone actually when I was grinding withers so if withers drop power stones then i guess we have no other choice than just to kind of get a wither and then eventually get an infinity generator from the uh, the block in there that's in the specter dimension but i figured we can probably even, like multitask since if we're going to be killing withers anyways which drops nether stars why not just make a nether star generator and see how much power those actually make because uh, the nether star generator has good power like millions per second or something and i've already looked this up but i'll just show you guys the nether star generator requires a mixing bowl as you see i have a little mixing bowl right there oats peach and heavy cream and uh heavy cream is actually pretty easy to make and now that i looked it up it just requires a thing of milk so we're gonna be looking for a cow and uh hopefully we have a bucket somewhere um, but yeah, we're gonna need a uh, an oat seed, which I already have selected right here. We just need some emeralds, which I believe yes, we have three right there. Let's go ahead and buy three oats. So we need to find peach in this as well. Although I might already have a peach, I'll look it up. But I'll just grab a seed just in case, since we have the emeralds anyway. I will see you guys back at the uh, the Spectre Dimension, where we can hopefully get a bucket. Ah, I completely forgot that peaches grow on trees. I was looking in the seeds, but looks like we can just grab two of these peach saplings, so that's not that bad at all. Into the gold chest, we should have... Yes, we do have a bucket, so now we need a cow to get milk. Um, so we pretty much have all four things right there for the generator. Nice, so all we need now is to grow the seeds. So let's put some oat seeds down. I guess we only needed one. That, that was whatever. Uh, we'll have backup. Where are the seeds going? I guess right. Oh, God, we have a lot of seeds. Yeah, let's just put that right there. Ooh, we're going to snag the peach tree. Um, all right, let's start this thing right here. And boop. Should be growing. Nice. We got oats. And uh, we have enough for 14, 16, 19 generators. Whoa! Infinite generators, pretty much. So we have the oats right there. Uh, the peaches. Now, let's go back to the real world. Let's grab some bone meal. I wonder if we, hopefully we have some, because I think that's the only official way to grow trees, if I'm not mistaken. Unless I take the, uh, I can take the, eh, the mushroom pet out and just use it on the, the, the tree. That would probably be better. All right, to the real world. Huzzah! Okay, where are we going to put our tree? I guess it really doesn't matter. There we go. Oh! Say what? Wait, what? Huh? Are trees randomized? There's no way. Uh, mushroom pet on the tree. Ha! Oh, there we go. What the? Oh, wait a second. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a, I'm pretty sure this log, if I was looking correctly, the eyeball log turns into something that we need. Never mind. Must have been something else I was thinking of. Um, Guys, what do I do? The trees are randomized. How do we get peaches? I guess I got I just gotta sap put down enough saplings that randomly grow into a peach tree? Oh my god. That's actually really cool, but it's kind of in the way. I guess, uh, well, if they're randomized anyways, let's go ahead and see how much a normal sapling is. They're all three. Okay, well, whatever. We'll just get, we'll get it orange sapling. Where are you at? Peach sapling, sorry. And we'll just get as much as we can. 
And uh, let's see if they truly are random. If it's random every time, then that's going to be kind of bad. Um, but we have 18 and a mushroom pet that's infinite bone meal. So we should be in the clear just to grow as many trees as we possibly can. And hopefully, hopefully we'll reach a peach. Let's throw these suckers down. And actually, we can uh, probably get some milk real quick from this cow. We have so many. Whoa! Nice. All right. We got the milk, which is going to be turned into the cream. So, oh wait, how do we make it a cream again? I think it was uh, a mixing bowl and something. I can't remember. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get these saplings down. Bop, wait, what is that? What is that dark thing? Ah! Oh, it's actually, it's actually an NPC. Let's shoot it with the real gun. Oh crap, I don't have enough energy for a shot. Ah, whatever, it's, it looks harmless anyway. Um, so I wonder if we, oh, my bone mill is gone. We need mushroom. Oh boy, do we have any mushrooms? Oh god, guys, uh, maybe we should just get some bone meal, huh? Bone meal sounds nice, right? <laughs> Trust me, guys, I think we got enough bones to make it worth it. Look at all these bones! Holy crap, and more are coming in. All right, now all we need is a, uh, a vanilla recipe scroll, and then we should be able to make enough bone meal to satisfy our needs. We make sure that... Let's just throw mushroom in there. We'll get some mushrooms for you soon, mushroom pet. Have no fear. Nice. Found some default recipe scrolls as well. And let's go ahead and grab... Do we need a dupe party? I don't think so. Um, but it should be good enough. Oh, let's go ahead and just double check how we make the cream of the crop real quick. Cream, heavy cream is just... Okay, mixing bowl and milk. Good, good, good. So back to the real world. And it is time to bone me! This sapling, uh, but first we need to get a 30 second default recipe scroll. There we go. All right, bones, everyone, bones. But I, I don't want it to be randomized into the question marks, but maybe I do. I don't know. Uh, let's just, oh, I'm getting enchanted bone meal. You've seen it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap, I'm actually getting a lot of bone meal. I forgot an entire stack gives you way more than. I think it's probably like four stacks, right? Okay, it gives you three, so it's three stacks. All right, but we are getting a lot of enchanted ones too, which is a little strange. I want, they should make like super bone meal. It just keeps growing infinitely, the, the crop or something. Anyways, huh. nope, that is uh, that is a jungle tree, uh, dawn leaves. Interesting. So it's pretty cool that you can get the advent of sentient stuff. Uh, we might as well keep a collection of trees here then. Hey, hey go, come on, bro. There we go. Uh, what the? <laughs> That's not how trees work. That's a donut. All right. Let's get the next sapling here. Ha! Oh, we actually put two. My scroll. Oh, I think my mouse is dying. Oh, God. Okay, so we have the... <laughs> there's so many logs. Let's just place all the saplings down that we have. And then let's make a forest of Advent of Ascension trees. And then hopefully we get a peach tree eventually. Someone help me. I really need peaches. All right. Let's do this tree now. Ha! We got the vein stuff. This one. Come oh, Normal oak wood, but red haven leaves. Very strange. Very strange. We might actually have to go just walk around and try to find a peach tree. That might actually be easier. Uh, peach sap. Come on. That's a shire log. A haunted large eye log. Okay, I think maybe this is the one I was thinking of that gives me something crazy. Yes, the rainbow generator. I was wondering what I was looking at earlier. Um, we got a rainbow generator. There it is. Um, but I don't really know how to use that. Maybe that'll be for another episode. <laughs> All right, next sapling, please. Bone meal. Woo! We got the runic log. That thing's pretty cool looking. Uh, jungle wood. That's a shire log. There, there it is. Dawn log again. Blood log. Whoa! I think those two just like grew randomly. A cell leaf stem. Blood log. That's a cool looking tree, I will say. What? That looks awesome. And a dawn log. Um, well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to spend all my emeralds trying to get these random trees, but how cool does that look? That, that was pretty dope. Um, so I think it's better just to, you know, let's just fly around. We'll try to get some peaches um, from the forests. As you can see, there's a like little fruit that hang off of them. We just got to find a peach one. Not quite a peach, but that booty! Dang, I thought these were peaches, but these are oranges. Uh, something really strange happened here. I don't think this tree generated properly. <laughs> it's the orange cave. I wonder what's down there. Actually, is there a dungeon down here? What the world's going on here? Structure shrinker? We'll go ahead and take that. What if we sh Wait a second. A structure sink shrinker? Could we shrink... 
Cody and Kraken's base. How funny would that be? Um, anyways, that was a very strange orange cave. Uh, back to the beaches. <laughs> Guys, I just had a brain blast. Don't we have a bonsai tree pot? I think we do. Go back to the Spectre Dimension. Has my time been wasted all along? If we have a bonsai pot, we can literally just put the sapling in there and it should just generate the proper stuff. Let's fly up here and see if we can actually uh, find it. Uh, where are you at? There you are! Aha! Hopping bonsai. See, it's a grapefruit right now. Uh oh, I think I have to empty the dirt out of there. And unless I just break it. Let's see. Huh. Nice. Okay. Ooh, my inventory is full. Let's just go ahead and put... Oh, I thought that was a peach for some reason. <laughs> Got excited for a second. All right. Bonsai. Uh, dirt. So let's put that right there. The hopping bonsai pot. Into the dirt, into the peach sapling. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha Oh, now we just we just have to wait. Uh, well, that's kind of boring. Woo! We got two peaches, baby! All right, we're going to keep that going. So now that we have infinite peaches, basically infinite oats, all we need is infinite milk now for the... What were we even making? Uh, the nether star generator, right? <laughs> ah, I remember now. All right, back to the real world. Let's go to the cows and let's get to milking. All right, we got a crafting table right here, so we can go ahead and start crafting the stuffs. So let's go ahead. I guess this is fine. Uh, just milk. We need to we need to do default recipes and then turn as much milk as we possibly can into heavy cream if it does work. Let's see. Huh. Oh, fresh milk. And let's just go ahead and get one more just for good measure. I guess we can. We have like 20 seconds. So wait, five minutes. I did not see that that one was five minutes long of default recipes. Did, did it get, like, increased or something? Uh, well, let's just get his... What the? What is that? I just got something random from the cow. What kind of cow was that? <laughs> uh, more fresh milk, and then uh, let's just do the recipe. Oh, wait, we can't because it's a scrambled recipe. Uh, rip in peace. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is in uh, the laggiest... Whoa, I'm lagging like crazy, sorry. Just got to get the mixing bowl right there and that should be yes we got the cream of the crop nope not question marks ah we got 11 that's good that's good enough bada bing bada boom and we should have now the recipe we got 24 heavy cream and there it is we got two nether star generators and obviously we can just get more uh more peaches in the spectre dimension so we technically have 20 four nether star generators which is probably more than we are going to ever need but let's go ahead and put this down next to the item interface boop oh a little bit laggy there for a second and bop all right now that that's connected all we need now is nether stars so let's go ahead and spawn the wither over here and obviously you guys know the drill we've done this like two episodes in a row we're just gonna that was a lot, a lot. Oh, I forgot I nuked that with like lava missile or something. 160 health, almost. Oh god, I don't have my weapon out. Jesus, I almost failed. I wish I could pow uh, shoot the railgun at it, but we're gonna have to charge up the railgun eventually. Oh god, that thing got crazy. Whoa, uh oh, what? It's a little wet. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> we're back. And we're killing the wither. Come on, let's go. I need another star to test this new another star. <laughs> It's dead. Dang, it died pretty fast. Where, where's all my loot? Hey! Oh, there it is. Nether Star. Alright, hopefully the Nether Star can just charge the railgun up just enough to power off like two shots because, uh, yeah, the Wither can pretty much die in two shots from the railgun, so that's nice. Alright, now that we are here, let's put the railgun inside of the. Ooh, we got a power station as well. I don't know what that does. Dupe harvest rule doubles the amount of drops while harvesting things. That's pretty cool. Let's throw a nether or the railgun in there. So it has 8.1 million. It says generates 9.6 mil, 9 million RF. Oh. So that, I mean, is that fast? It looks like it's. Oh god. Okay, so it is going into the gun. We already got 8.6 million. So every nether star is pretty much one shot. <laughs> uh. That's kind of strange, but because uh, the problem is we need two shots to kill a wither, I think, which is making it very odd. Oh, we can actually shoot one time. You guys want to try it out? Let's go into if we can one shot a wither with this real gun, uh, like so. Huh. 
and three heads. There we go. And now we just gotta wait. And let's make sure not to miss. Because <laughs> every miss is a 10 million uh, miss. That's not good. All right, so come on. Boom! All right, let's uh, make sure we're not lagging. That way we can get an easy shot. Boom! Uh-oh. Well, not enough power, guys. <laughs> Looks like we're going to need a different power source. Because if I... Oh. Ooh. Another star acquired. Uh, because if we... I mean, obviously, one kill it takes like two to three shots. <laughs> and it only gets one nether star, which charges up only one shot. So, whoa! Although we have 40,000 RF right there. That's pretty dope. Let's go and put that in there. Look how fast. Woo! At least it goes fast. That's all that really matters. What is going on with my health right now, guys? <laughs> I'm like withered, but also the suit that I'm wearing is like, nope, nope, no, you're not, no, you're not. Um, okay, so that is a start. Another star generator. All we need to do now is maybe... Maybe this rainbow generator will uh, will actually help us in the long run. Let's go check out the rainbow generator and see if we can like access this inventory or something. Okay, uh, well, it, d it can't access it, so what does it run on? Does it run on Skittles? I don't understand. <laughs> All right, back to the real world. All right, so let's put this next to the item interface, and let's see what happens. It shows grid power. I don't know if it's grid power or uh, the actual RF power. So, 10... Th okay, these also show the grid power, so I think we're fine. Now, what do we got? We got 12 million energy stored, and... That's pretty much, it's almost a 97%, 96%, and this one's 76%. So, yeah, yeah, that's so much power with this railgun. Uh, but can I change the setting of it somehow to not use as much power? Let's see. I, c I think I saw that I could on the wiki, but we'll have to figure that out. Um, and obviously if I if it does less if it takes less energy it's gonna do less damage so we need to pump that up to like a lot more looks like we're gonna have to find out uh, how to power this thing a little better in the, uh, the next episode but now that we have that going we can actually just since that's 10 I mean 10 million is a lot let's just go ahead and throw the multi-tool in there there we go yeah now we're talking and I guess I'll just use the uh, the spectrite legend blade farm up a bunch of nether stars with the soul sand and wither skeleton skulls and then uh, yeah we'll just get this multi tool charged up and then hopefully I'll never run out of energy ever and in the next episode we're going to figure out how to get this rainbow generator going because once we get this going I think the railgun uh, I mean it says infinite energy in the wiki so we're gonna have to figure that out and uh, maybe we even put some ender pearl generators next to it something to offset the cost we'll see what the best generator is in the next episode but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the episode we got the thing going we can actually shoot the railgun now which is funny because i think we'll be able to kill cody and kraken <laughs> maybe we'll have to find out hopefully it goes through armor that'd be kind of sick uh anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the episode this has been cannibal crab with scrabble crab i will see you in uh, the next one spectrate legend blade <laughs> Kind of crap. Signing out!